think number one, when we are looking at matriculation, you're looking at it being 50% school assessment and 50% external exam. I think that makes a big difference from where they came from, whether SPM, IGCSE, where you are studying the whole year for a do or die exam at the end of the thing. But here it's a sort of paced out and that's quite similar to how it is in university. The other bit that would be special would be the fact that it's globally recognised. It's a matriculation that you can take and you can go anywhere around the world. Our alumni always come back to appreciate that. When we ask them, what did you learn from OSMED? You know, what did you really appreciate? They talk about time management because how they're going to juggle whether it is assignment, test, learning something new, how they are juggling all these things along with other things, social stuff that they do, right? So how they juggle that, I, I think they, they really appreciate that. And um, number two would be uh, the kind of guidance that our teachers give. They come to pre-U, they're going to go to university. So going to university means you need to plan. It doesn't happen automatically. So what courses? There are so many options there. So having an academic advisor to walk you through that, all right, from the beginning, all right, how are you doing in your subjects? You know, do you want to, is it possible, do you think now you need to maybe change track? What are the things you need to do? Okay, you're, you're, you're not doing too well. Okay, what are the study strategies? Someone to walk you through that and then also look into which universities that you're going to apply, what courses. Students are picking this up, they can use this in university, they can use it in work in the future. We also have what we call We Care Counselors, all right? So students trying to manage all these different things that there are so many new things that you're learning. So when there are a lot of new things that you're learning, you're being stretched, right? And when you're being stretched, there's stress, there's anxiety. And so reaching out, Having that support with the We Care counsellors, with the teachers picking up, hey, you know, all that kind of support is, is important. Learning how to paraphrase would be important. How to do citations, important. How to uh, check for plagiarism count, important. In university, you are expected to know all this. But nobody taught that in school. So in the OSMAT program, students learn all these skills. In fact, in psychology, uh, subject in one of the subjects, we actually have research methodology. It's actually a topic. And so I think that's, and that's something that the, the students always come back to say that, oh, I'm so glad I'm prepared. So many of my peers are, are, are not prepared for that. We also have what we call a parent portal and in the parent portal uh, parents will get access to their, the, their child's results all right, because it's ongoing assessments through the year, right? So parents will get access to the ongoing results through the year and uh, in fact I actually um, encourage them every, every month or so to just check in to ensure that your child you know, is on track. It's a very critical year, pre-U is a very critical year and that parent support is important. We also give information on universities, all right? So we, if we have a, a US university fair, Australian university fair, we put everything up there because we know the child might not be telling the parent that. So that is important, all right? So we have parent portal and then we also have parent teacher session as well, uh, an online session, a virtual session, but where we are looking at parents can actually contact the teachers at, at select time and talk to them about the child's progress. You come to Sunway and you have got sustainable development goals plastered everywhere. But that's just an image. How do you actually pull that in? And so our teachers do a very good job of pulling that in into their class discussions, into assessments and assignments. And I feel that this is preparing our students for the future to save our planet, right? And, uh, and that's, that's, that's a very important thing that I think many people don't give enough time for. When it's incorporated in everything that you're doing in your classwork and things like that and you can see the value in it. Our students, when we did a survey last year, we, they actually said, thank God we learned SDG and Ms. Vanita, please do more of that. <laughs>